This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. This is a 2006 Ford F-250 Crew Cab. 6.0 turbo diesel, four-wheel drive. It's the King Ranch package. It's also got the FX4 uh, Rancho suspension package, which is a factory add-on. has 117,000 miles. It's on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Please watch the little animated video. It explains why that happened basically a liability insur uh, deal with the insurance company. Once they recover the vehicle, they've already lost a fortune. They don't want to lose any more by selling this on a clear title. You run a stop sign and blame brakes and blame, blame all state or farmers or whoever owns it. And that's how that goes. So it's about lawyers, not about the truck. Not collision at all. Anyhow, I'm going to walk around this thing and show you what's going on. Tires all the way around, it's on 20s, are about, I'd say about 30% tread, probably have another couple thousand miles in it. You can use a little touch-up paint right here, looks like somebody dinged it right there on the tip of the hood. So I'll do this right here. It's actually a really good looking truck, but it's my job to uh, pick out the negatives, accentuate them more than the positives. That way, uh, most of our customers pay by wire and ship. You get the vehicle that you're very happy with it and it exceeds what you were sold instead of falling short. That's what the Rancho suspension packages looks like that they uh, put on the in the factory. Looks great there. Passenger doors look great. Got a little bit of road rash like got next to some uh, bushes or something right there all the way around these things, which is kind of weird. It's, a, it's sort of a sort of an epidemic with the, the uh, trim around the wheels. It always has some scrapes on them. In fact, if I looked at a half of them in the, on this property, it would probably uh, look like that. Tailgate looks excellent. Bumper. There's a little ding right here in the bumper, kind of like this. Kind of hard to see at that angle. Got a beautiful spare, which we don't guarantee spare door tools because they're usually stolen. Got a nice cobalt toolbox. It's a bed liner. <laughs> Both sides. How funny. Little scrapage on there. Only repairs we did to this vehicle, I think we put a windshield in it, and there was a nice dent right here that went from like right under the gas door to about here, and we had that fixed. That'll be, you'll see before and after pictures. We were initially going to sell it with the dent, and we're like, eh, it runs too nice, the interior's too nice to uh, not try to clean it up a little bit. So we did. We have two new batteries. There's your Ford emblem here. There's your Ford emblem there on the core support. Stickers where they belong. Another uh, emblem there. And one right there. That just shows you that all the front end parts are original. And there hasn't been any wreck or anything like that. Man, it is hot today. It's 105 in Tucson today. Everything I touch is on fire. Let's see. Let me go around the other side. We'll try all the uh, power stuff. Make sure everything works properly. I see a little ding right here on the passenger rear door. See that or not. Tint is peeling up a little bit there. Let's see. All right. What do we got going on here? It's missing a little knob, but it works. Up and down. 
forward, goes all the way back before, and back. Let's see, seat back, seat up, down, up. There's the heat on and off. Typical, that's pretty, actually a pretty good looking set of uh, seats. They, they always look like they could use a little bit of saddle soap. The detail shops just clean them, you know, just kind of a cursory cleaning. But if you get saddle soap and spend about an hour on each seat, they look unreal. They look so good when they're done. Just got to spend some time. Oh, crap. I locked myself out. <laughs> I guess the door locks work. stuff it gets about 97% better just like a saddle a real saddle they kind of show the the wear it's a driver rear window let's try the let's see there you go that's the passenger rear window I didn't test when the door was locked driver window passenger window and drive the rear window. Let's go over here. That's the mirror out, in, up, down. Out, in, up, down. All right, let's see. Forward, back, up, down. Forward, up, down. See, that'll be up, down. All those work. There's the heated seats working. We also have adjustable pedals right here. That's, oh, that's down, that's up. Got tilt wheel, that works. And now I gotta go inside and get out of the heat. Holy cow. Rick, it is hot. 105 today. And we definitely did a windshield because there's no rear view mirror. We will have a rear view mirror before it ships out. But uh, that's how you can tell that uh, we did a windshield when they're missing those. Let's see. Let's see if the rear slider works. It does. Radio. Steering wheel controls. They work. Let's see, fan. That works. Temperature. All the controls in the steering wheel work. We have cruise control over here. Tow haul on and off. There's your mileage, 117.613. There's the cluster as a whole. Let me turn down the fan so you can hear me a little bit better. All right, let me put it into neutral. Actually, you know what? Let me do a system check here. Let's see. Okay. That's that. All this stuff. That's all that. Let's see. Okay. Now let's put it in neutral. Put in the four wheel low. There's four low. Put it into drive. That's four low. That's perfect. Let's put it in reverse. Perfect. Put it into neutral. Four high. Now we're in four high. Drive. That's forward. That's reverse. Perfect. And back to two wheel drive. That works fine. Let's uh, see if uh, the backup sensors work. That's the parking sensors. They never work, but I've been on a roll lately, so let's see. That would be parking sensors. Man, I'm on fire. What can I tell you? Put it in drive and it goes away. All right. So on a salvage title, so on a salvage title, if you're going to come to Tucson to drive it home, in order to get plates and insurance, it must have a restored salvage title. Right now, it only has a salvage title. Uh, $200, we will take it down. 
two motor vehicles and get a level three inspection done, which then allows us to get a restored salvage title, which then permits us to print up plates for you to drive home with and uh, allows you to get insurance for it. Without that, you can't drive it home. That's mandatory, that's $200. We have a $250 dock fee, and then we have taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is 3%, you will pay a total of 5% tax, $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. Um, Arizona's tax rate just went down a percent. We're now 6.1% of the state tax, so the total tax would be 8.1% tax, um, $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title if you're from Arizona. Here's the turbo. Runs great. Really solid running truck. Um, anyway, if you're lucky enough to be from like Alaska where they have 0% taxes, then all you would pay would be 2% tax, $250 dock fee, and $200 to restore the title. Um, if you pay by wire and ship, all you have to pay is the agreed upon price. Um, if you want to add $200 to have us restore the title, which I strongly suggest, uh, you could do that also. Let's see how quickly we get uh, almost 10,000 pounds rolling here. Okay, let's try not to get a ticket. Anyway, it's a really nice truck. Uh, it's a good looking truck. It's got a couple, you know, really minor cosmetic things. The interior is in great shape for the, for the miles. Actually, it's in excellent shape for the miles. Um, air is blowing ice cold. Could use some tires and probably 5,000 miles, maybe. Maybe three, or, three to 5,000 miles, I would say, definitely is going to need tires. Um, other than that, this is a nice, nice rig. Please make sure you get a deposit in. Without a deposit, we don't have a deal. Once we have a deposit, we will put uh, your name and deposit received on a banner over the vehicle, over in this case the King Ranch, on our website. So you'll know that it's yours and we've got your deposit and it's not for sale anymore to anybody else. All right? Anyway, now it's in line to go get pictures taken. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, one last thing. Uh, if you're from eBay and you think that you're buying a brand new vehicle, you're not. This is a used truck with 117,000 miles on it. Lately, the eBay people have been driving us absolutely crazy. They're just, oh my God, they're worse than a mother-in-law. So, if, if you're a crazy person, if you're not an adult, if you don't know what you're buying, please do not bid on this vehicle if you're on eBay. Um, just go to our website. Um, if you go to our website, it's cheaper than eBay. We don't break much on price for eBay because of all the hassles it causes. So, lately, the crazies have been out in force. And so we're kind of trying to wean ourselves from that. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to escape eBay sh sooner than later. And that is all. Really nice truck. Thank you, and have a great week and a great weekend.